Hey guys, so who here has ever heard of delayed cord clamping? Awesome, so there's a few hands in the audience. So as you guys know, when a baby is born, it's born with an umbilical cord that attaches it to its mother's placenta. And this umbilical cord can be clamped right away or the clamping can be delayed for a period of time. And which option is better for the baby? Well, we're here to convince you guys that if you delay the cord clamping by at least 60 seconds, it results in better health outcomes for the infant. So consider this baby. So again, we can clamp the cord right away or we can wait to clamp the cord. So let's say that we clamp the cord right away. So within five seconds, this infant is now at an increased risk of developing anemia. And James is gonna talk more about this idea. All right, so these guys right here, they're red blood cells. Uh, they bind oxygen and transport oxygen throughout the body and deliver it to various tissues and cells throughout the body. Uh, as you guys, oh, you guys may or may not know, anemia is, uh, so, I mean, anemia is uh, caused by the insufficient number of red blood cells or hemoglobin in the blood. As a result, organs do not receive enough oxygen to accommodate for their metabolic functions. Uh, in infants and toddlers, anemia is associated with long-lasting, uh, diminished mental, motor, and behavioral functioning. In North America, anemia is the most prevalent blood condition. Uh, and in a recent study, it has been shown that uh, anemia uh, prevalence is increasing in the developed world. This may be due to early cord clamping. So I'm going to take you guys through a graphical representation of how the blood flows from the placenta, which is this line right here, to the infant, which is this line right here. So the y-axis represents the total blood volume in the placenta and the infant. And the, sorry, that's the y-axis, if I just said x-axis. And then the x-axis represents time. So this is happening in a time-wise fashion. So we can see here with this uh, negative slope that the blood is decreasing in the placenta and increasing in the infant, which makes intuitive sense because the blood is flowing from the placenta to the infant. So let's, where does uh, cord clamping come into all of this? So uh, early cord clamping is clinically defined as within five seconds. So if you were to clamp within five seconds, then approximately 40% of the total blood volume is dammed or trapped within the placenta and is not allowed to flow to the infant, which is hindering this infant from receiving all those nutritious, uh, you know, nutrient type cells like red blood cells, immune cells. And uh, if we were to delay core clamping, which is clinically defined as within 60 seconds, then we could see about 50% of the blood volume within the placenta is allowed to flow from the placenta to the infant, which is giving the infant all these red blood cells, which decrease the risk of developing childhood anemia. If we were to wait an additional two minutes to a total of 180 seconds, then nearly all the blood from the placenta is allowed to flow from the placenta to the infant, which therefore further decreases the risk of developing childhood anemia. So just to summarize what James just talked about, so if you wait at least 60 seconds, blood now has the time to flow from the placenta into the infant, which decreases its risk of developing anemia. So we hope that this introduced you guys to a new concept that you'll think about in the future. And just out of curiosity, who here will now consider delayed cord clamping in the future? Awesome, so <laughs> a lot more hands, so that's great. If you guys wanna learn more um, about more benefits, um, definitely check out one of our seminars in the afternoon. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so thanks so much.